Hey guys, welcome back to a special edition of Adam's Lights Under the Dome. This is where we take apart a couple bars and look at some of the inner workings of how they work, how they're wired, and uh, just answer some general questions that you guys tend to ask online. So uh, let's take a look at today's bar. Hey everybody. For this episode of Under the Dome, we are going to look at my Model 8000 Whelan light bar. I just released this bar on my uh, YouTube page just a couple of days ago. And lots of people have had questions, both in the comments and uh, direct messages to me. Either you're super familiar with these bars and, and you know kind of how rare they are, or you've never seen them and it's one of the weirdest things you've ever seen. Um, either way are both accurate. They are very cool and unique and also weird. This is uh, this is Whelan's precursor to the Edge 9000 series. This is a strobe bar, uh, although they make an identical looking bar um, that is a halogen bar with rotators, uh, which you will see on my site um, later on. Uh, I have one of those as well. This is a specific model. This is the California spec model, which as most of you guys know, requires there to be at least one red uh, steady burn light to the front, so can't flash, can't revolve, can't rotate, uh, can't do anything. It has to be steady on, uh, and then it has to have at least one uh, amber flasher to the rear. Um, this bar takes care of both of those things. This light here is the uh, static light, uh, which does not flash or anything. It's just steady on, which you uh, will see in the video. This is a flasher, um, which is connected to this amber flasher here on the back side of the red. It flashes together at the same time with the blue flasher on the front. Oh, I had already unscrewed that. Um, so you have a flash, uh, I'm sorry, steady red here flasher here and here. You have these two little guys that are takedown lights, which you will see uh, momentarily. And then of course the alley lights on each side. Um, some things to note uh, about this bar is it is a strobe bar. So you can tell that you see the fluting on the inside of this lens. That is help to, to disperse the light. Um, so it, uh, it has a little bit of a wider throw pattern. Um, that's what that is. And basically what those are are ridges on the inside. Um, this plate usually lives down here, um, but I've already taken it off. Uh, this says uh, Model 80. However, I was corrected. This is actually a Model 8000 uh, bar. So you will see some of the, uh, the lower thirds in my original video say Model 80, um, which is incorrect. So thanks, Richie, for... Uh, for pointing that out for me. So if you take this dome off, under the dome, this is what we find. First, I just wanna show you, you can kinda of see here the fluting uh, around this edge here. It's got a texture to it all the way around. That, again, is what helps to, to disperse the light uh, from the strobe light. And then you have your uh, flasher um, filter there on the back. Now, if you look at this bar here, you see a couple different things. You see uh, these big, what I believe to be par 46 lamps um, for the flasher and the steady burn. You have a smaller 36 lamp for the alley. And then you have this tiny little guy right here uh, for the takedown, which I wanna show you up close and personal. Take a look. So here is a real close up view of that little takedown light. So. You see it right there, it's just a little guy, kind of like a 795, but, but even smaller than that. Uh, it's got this ceramic base, and it's screwed right onto that assembly there. And, and then here you see we have this big, thick piece of glass. It's flat on the inside here, um, and it's uh, convexed here on the outside, pointing towards the front of the bar. You can kind of see that same effect here inside this guy. Uh, you can kind of see it in there where the front glass is just uh, normal. There's no, there's no optics necessarily. Um, this optic here, the idea is that it kind of homogenizes the lens and makes it more focused. So rather than uh, that light bulb without this light would just kind of splay light everywhere, you get a lot of light loss uh, and going in directions that you don't need it to. This lens kind of helps focus it and bring it all together and point it in the direction that you want. Um, inside here are two lamps actually. You have uh, the xenon strobe here, which is connected to the strobe pack and they alternate between this one and the blue one. And then you have here is the, uh, the cruise light, which is just a small little bulb 
um, that's inside that reflector um, that um, comes on with the cruise light function. That is surrounded by this lens here, which again just helps the optics of the strobe light itself. Uh, and then again goes through the, the uh, fluted uh, outer dome to, to get the final effect that you have. Again, normally there would be a speaker in this slot here, but my bar does not have a speaker. Uh, and then you can see into the inside of the blue side, which basically is the same, minus one extra flasher to the rear. What's interesting about this, and I don't know um, if this was done on purpose or not, but my blue lens does not have an inner cap right here, like I can reach inside there. Whereas my red one, if you look at the red one I took off, it does. So I don't know if they were designed that way. There is some, there's some white here, like maybe something was shaved off or cut off. Um, I'm not sure. Um, or maybe they were just two different lenses designed that way. My black one, all, I mean, my blue one also has this black top that's been scraped off and faded off over time and my red one does not. So kind of leads me to believe that they are two separate lenses from two separate eras possibly, uh, or two different batches or, or whatever. Or maybe the red was special order because of the, the amber. I'm not sure. Uh, Richie might know the answer to that one better than I do. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. This is the Under the Dome. This just wanted to show you kind of some of the interesting inner workings. I, I think this uh, takedown light style is probably the only way I've ever seen this. Um, so yeah, there it is. Leave some comments below. Tell me what you think. And if you have another bar that you've seen on my channel uh, that you would like to see more in depth and how it works, um, drop a comment below and uh, I'll try to get another uh, one of these videos done for whichever video you guys are looking for. Otherwise, thanks for watching Adam's Lights. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.